Let's take a look at building for native applications and using App Studio. This is a low-code solution for building native apps. The easiest way to get started is you install the desktop and you pick from a template. The thing that I like about these templates, all of them work disconnected or connected. There's over 70 samples to help you get started. And the App Studio player makes it extremely easy to deploy your solution within your organization. It's as simple as building your application from a template, uploading it to your ArcGIS Online organization, and then downloading it into the player. Really makes it very easy for your users to get access to your apps. So to show us this, I'd like to pass over to Chris from the App Studio team, and he's going to show us how easy it is to deploy to the enterprise. Chris. Thank you, Ewan. Many of you want to create mobile apps, to take advantage of device capabilities, and to work offline. With App Studio, you can create apps and publish those to app stores. But as anyone who has ever done this knows, this can be a complicated task of managing certificates and dealing with app store approvals and organizational policies. But what if you just want to develop and deploy apps in your organization? App Studio has a truly innovative way to accomplish this. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to play the role of a GIS developer for a city. Here's my city's ArcGIS organizational page. I've created a number of internal web apps, and I've shared these with the staff in my city using groups. But the staff in my city all have mobile devices, and there's a need to provide them focused native apps that work offline. The same concepts of named users and groups carries over when sharing native apps with App Studio. So here, I'm in App Studio, and I have a number of apps that I've created. Some of these were created by configuring templates, all of which run in a disconnected manner. And some of them were created using custom code. To share these with others, I simply upload the app to my ArcGIS organization, and then share it into a group. I've created a group for the Public Works Department. And in that group, I have a few apps. And I've set a few configurations for the branding color, for the title of my department. And now to get these apps into the hands of those Public Works employees, we're going to use App Studio Player. App Studio Player is available on all platforms. And you can download it from the app stores. I simply sign in with my ArcGIS account, and I now see a streamlined and customized experience. I see my branding color, I see my department title, and I, and I have a set of curated apps that I can download and run. Like this Hydra inspection app, which is running offline. Now, I've just shown you how easy it is to deploy apps in the enterprise with App Studio. No compiling, no app stores, no complicated mobile device management software. Simply download and use App Studio Player. Back to you, Ewan. Thank you, Chris. It doesn't get much easier than that. So App Studio, as I said before, like all of our app building technologies, is a powerful developer tool that if you are a developer and you want to dig deeper, you can. App Studio comes with a very rich application framework. It's built on top of the Qt SDK for the runtime, so you get access to all the runtime capabilities. And it's built on top of Qt, and it comes with a built-in IDE. So you can really leverage all of these tools to build sophisticated applications. So I think I'm going to pass straight back to Chris, and he's going to show us one of these applications that's been created with a little bit more development. Chris. Thank you, Ewan. App Studio includes the ArcGIS Runtime SDK for Qt. And because of this, I can build powerful mapping applications like this offline 3D scene viewer. But you can also bring in your own libraries and custom components as well. Right now, the team is working to bring machine learning into App Studio using the open source TensorFlow Lite framework. So here, I'm running an object detection app. And it is telling me with about, oh, 60% confidence that Ewan is a person. Now, this is the edge computing. I'm running a machine learning model 
on an offline on a mobile device. But how can I take advantage of this in a GIS application? Well, I have a tree inventory app. It's a customized version of Survey123 with a TensorFlow add-in. And as you saw earlier this morning, we used ArcGIS Learn to train a model to detect trees based on their, their leaves. So instead of selecting a tree from a long drop-down list, I can simply use the camera on my phone and take a picture of, the tr of a leaf, and the model will automatically detect what kind of tree it is. In this case, it's a sweet gum tree. Now, this is a simple example, but it shows the power of using a machine learning model on a mobile device. Again, you can create your own models with ArcGIS Learn and then automate processes and bring intelligence into your own apps with App Studio for ArcGIS.